hey beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is maggie renee and i am a juilliard trained opera singer Ooh, this is two country singers try singing opera nessun dorma Austin Brown, and Rob Lundquist. Oh my God, this is gonna be literally iconic. I love the aria Nessun Dorma. I'm actually curious, does anybody know who the composer of Nessun Dorma is? 10,000 points will go to the first person that tells me who the composer of Nessun Dorma is. Na 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 fandom fandom got it first fandom weirdo good job 10,000 points to fandom oh my goodness gracious and a bonus 10,000 points to Mike who said the first opera he said the opera first before anybody else did so Mike got that it is turn dot so Nessun Dorma is an amazing aria from the opera turn dot by Giacomo Puccini who is an incredible composer the only thing that I have beef with Puccini on is that he did not write enough for mezzos he wrote the most gorgeous music in the world but where are the mezzo roles I don't understand it why did he not write more but it's fine it's okay I'll forgive him because like literally the man wrote the most stunning music ever I mean have you guys ever seen La Boheme if you have seen La Boheme yet you really should because it is, it is like the best starting opera for people who are interested in learning about opera so I really highly suggest uh, La Boheme my favorite character in that is Musetta she is an icon truly recommend anyways all right so two country singers try singing opera I'm so excited to see this you guys know that I am a huge home free fan and the fact that they're now singing opera I'm like Austin why didn't I get the call from this I mean, like, I would have been on this. I would have totally sang this with them. So I hope that they will do more opera because I want to join. <laughs> now that they've done this, they've opened the floodgates. I'm coming over and we're doing an opera together. Like, I'm going to sing Carmen and they're going to sing Escamillo and Don Jose and we're going to make it happen. Right? Right, Austin? I know you're going to watch this. So, right? <laughs> We've got to do it together. So just so you guys know, a quick disclaimer, I am a professional opera singer. So I am usually very, very a big stickler on technique and specificity and like expression and just all the correct things that you have to do as an opera singer. However, these are not opera singers. These are country singers slash like popular music singers. So I am not going to judge them the same way that I would actual opera singers. I'm going to be much more gentle because... I know that they are not of this genre, if that makes sense. So I want to make sure not to just like tear them apart for no reason because they're doing this as like a really fun thing. And I'm so glad that they are because it's honestly promoting opera to the masses, which is really important. I think that it's a really good thing that they're putting it out, regardless of how it's being done. Hopefully it's not terrible. I mean, if it's like terrible, I'll be like, uh, <laughs> but like, hopefully it'll be good. And also a rumor that I heard is that Rob is actually partially trained in this. So I'm actually kind of excited to see how, what kind of training he has and how that actually affects his vocalism. So we will see. But like I said, I'm going to be interpreting it from my own operatic perspective, but thinking of them as kind of doing a classical crossover type thing. So I'm not going to be, you know, being like, oh my goodness, how dare he have a closed E vowel when it's supposed to be an open E vowel in Italian. You know, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to talk about how, like, how they're doing, what their breath is like, what their, like, phrasing is like, if they're in it, that kind of stuff. And I've never seen this video, so this could either go really well or really poorly so we will see but i'm so excited to see it so thank you all so very very much for sending it to me and i think we should get started because i've talked a lot let's see if we can get to 150 likes while we're watching this video thank you so much for your support and for making this possible keep hitting that like button so that many people can see this and we can promote it to other people and bring them all joy and let's get started. Thank you so much, Dorky, for sponsoring this video. Guys, let me know what you like and what you don't like. And let me know if there's anything else we need to know. Here we go. Two country singers try singing opera. Here's Nessun Dorma. Okay, I'm already really excited. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was really good at the very beginning. That's a very nice supported sound that they both started out with, and their voices sound exactly the same. And that is not Rob's voice that I'm used to. That is completely different. That was a really strong entering sound. So, okay. And good diction so far. So, like, the rolled on Dorma, they got that. Let's see. Let's keep watching. Oh, my gosh. And they're in suits. <laughs> Yes. Both of the highest voices of Home Free singing low. Yay! <laughs> and Austin's hair is down. I love it. your faces Rob what okay so I absolutely have to do a duet with Rob I will see how Austin sounds as well I'm sure he sounds great but like what in the world that's legit training what what oh my god like I've heard Rob for forever this is complete what he actually sounds so good like guys I mean like legit opera like legit like he's actually doing it this isn't country singer singing that was an opera singer singing opera oh my god wait am I allowed to pick on Rob a little bit then because that's too good to not pick on wait wait hold on I have to hold him at a higher standard now he's doing so well oh my god Oh my god. Okay, everybody type a five if your head is blown as much as mine is because, oh my god, ev uh, I, yeah. Okay, Maggie, Maggie Bot is officially rebooting because, what? Rob, who are you? I am shook. What in the what? What? I am literally losing my mind right now. I cannot believe. I never expected that in a million years from the things that I've heard Rob do. He is singing in a totally different placement literally in the full operatic voice oh my god okay i rewind it a little bit we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna watch again because i'm shaking like literally <laughs> do you guys see me <laughs> i was so shocked okay Whew. <sighs> breathe maggie breathe oh my god i know oh my god ron types and he lights big likes big butts literally that's what i know rob as the the, the butts and the cannot lie video not this what oh my god okay one more time. What? I'm gonna pick on him now, guys. Now that I know that he's actually trained, hold on. I'm about to die. Actually, never mind. I really don't have that much to pick on. Like, he sounds great. The vowels are carrying through so smoothly. He's in the right position. He's right in the mask. He's got gorgeous resonance. The Italian is generally good. Like, he's got a couple, like, maybe a couple of vowels that are a little bit too close or a little bit too open that my diction coaches can pick on here or some doublings that he doesn't completely do but that's like so small in the grand scheme of things i'm so shocked right now i don't even have anything bad to say because like the whole thing is so well supported uh, the top note on the stelle he could probably do a little bit like of a, a a taller thing he had an ah vowel i think that was a little bit over darkened let me listen again i'll show you where that is that's great Okay, wait, no, the, all of that was great. It was before that. One second, let me find the place. Oh, literally, it's just one ah vowel that I can pick on. The rest is just, oh, gorgeous. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's what it is. 
he does he does kind of like a covered awe and many tenors make the decision to do that which is totally fine I, for me my taste would have been just a little bit of a brighter guarda instead of guo like they do a little bit of a cover just to get their voices sounding a little bit richer i think he could have done it either way so i can't really pick on it it's just something that i would prefer but it sounds gorgeous guys like the quality of the voice is just what in the heck what in the heck oh my god <laughs> Nice portamento down. Oh my god, I'm so scared now. Okay. Okay, so for having absolutely no classical training, that is actually better than I was expecting. I was a little bit worried about what he was actually going to do, but that actually worked out very, very well for him. He's very much in tune. He sounds great. He's not quite reaching like the operatic quality that I think you would say like, oh, he's an opera singer, but that's literally because he's a literal country singer, people. So I'm going to observe him in the classical crossover element, and I'm going to say like that sounded really, really great the way that he's doing it. So let me listen again to what uh, Austin does, and I'll show you kind of the difference. Here you go. My mio mistero è chiuso in me. Il nome mio la son sabra. No, no sulla tua bocca. Okay, so you can hear a couple of things. Number one, like mio instead of mio. He said like mio, but that's totally fine. I'm picking on that. That's like Italian stuff that you would have to do. But like that's part of the classical training that we get. We study diction 24-7. It's literally every single day. I was just having an Italian diction coaching like an hour ago. So that's one thing that I would say, just the Italian a little bit. But he's doing a great job in comparison to what I thought he was going to do. And then um, the way that he's singing his high notes and just in general throughout the voice, he's kind of pulling it back just a little bit, which is fine for the classical crossover realm. But if he wanted to have that classical sound, he would have to pull pull up his soft palate and give a lot more space. So let me show you an example. I don't know if this is too high for me because I'm not a tenor, but he does like a and kind of pulls it back. So it's a complete and total different placement that goes all the way through the front. So instead of letting it kind of drop back and doing like a poppier sound, you have to let it come through the the entire frontal resonance space and give that space that is necessary in order to form that sound. And it's also a lot of support, guys. Like it takes your whole body to make that kind of a sound happen. Um, so that would take a lot of training and he would have to literally like find that position. That's what I'm still doing. Like I have to find that position and not only do you have to find it, but you have to not lose it, which is the hardest part because sometimes you can go in between and you can like lose the position or find the position he has that a couple times as well i'll show you that as well so you guys can hear that here we go actually that whole part is good he's in his resonance space there not in the operatic necessarily but classical crossover great resonance space let me show you here Okay, so right there on the May. My mio mistero è chiuso in me. So you would have to keep that me, and he kind of drops it back a little bit and goes into the me, and you can feel it kind of pull back from that support. That's the thing about opera singer. You, I mean, opera singing. You have to keep it going. Otherwise, if you drop it, they'll be like, no, 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 wrong technique, and they'll make you do it again. You know what I mean? Let me show you. Let's see if you can hear it this time. Listen to the me of the last. It's the last word of that phrase so that you can hear how the technique kind of changes and how he just drops back a little bit off of that voice. I'm going to rewind it a little bit more. Oh, Rob, stop it. Do 
you hear that slight drop back? It's the slightest thing ever. It's really hard to hear if you can't hear it. Re-listen to it a couple more times and you'll hear the difference between him being in here and then dropping back into me. And it drops back just a little bit. Hopefully you'll be able to hear that on your own if you listen a couple times back. So instead of It's a whole different placement, but do you guys hear the difference? Type a one if you can hear the difference. I am literally so proud of Austin for doing this because this is so not easy and can be so scary and he sounds fantastic on it like completely and totally could easily go into the classical crossover realm and sing as much repertoire in this genre as he wants it is so good austin i'm so proud of you and why didn't you invite me next time we have to do this together oh my god not even necessarily this but like another aria or another duet oh my god this is so exciting he sounds so good holy cheese muffins okay let's keep on listening ah this is so good oh my gosh and this is jazzy so what he just did he went into a very light, beautiful kind of a classical crossover sound. In the actual opera, you would hear something along those lines because you would never lose that support. You can't go into a, like a jazzy kind of a quality. You have to continue that phrasing and continue that support throughout the line. But like I said, in classical crossover, this totally flies and I actually love it. It doesn't matter. Like Either way, if a professional opera singer is doing it, I want to hear it the professional opera way. And if a classical cl crossover singer is doing it, I want to hear it the classical crossover of a way so that it doesn't sound overly pushed or you know unsupported this sounds great and he made the right choice there good job austin brilliant so good let's keep listening Nice ah vowel. That was great. They're writing that in. That's not in the original. Yes! Oh my gosh. Ah! Wait, one more time. I want to hear it one more time. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> So you can kind of hear the nasality in this kind of section. I'm just picking on it specifically so that you guys understand the difference of how it would be done operatically. Maybe I should show you guys the the uh, the Nessun Dorma done by uh, Pavarotti. Pavarotti like made this aria famous basically because he was incredible at that this aria specifically. But I just wanted to point out so like he's using a nasal technique in order to achieve these high notes, which is a total valid way of doing it, and you do it in pop all the time. Um, and so he's doing that in order to get these high notes, and that's kind of the classical crossover aspect, which like in an operatic singer's voice, it would be. Let me show you. <laughs> Uh, I don't have these words in front of me, so I cannot find that. 
So I'll just sing, my Ben Morir. This is what Austin's doing. He's doing like this kind of a classical crossover type of nasal to get those voice. Um, mm, uh. So, my Ben Morir. That's my, the, that's like a nasal voice, uh, nasal way of doing it. And then like in the operatic way, you would go, my non Morir. It's just a much more kind of a upper resonance space type of thing. You would be using the upper resonators to create that kind of an overtone um, that you would need to make it an operatic kind of a style. But that being said, it's still being done extremely well by him, and I am so proud. Okay, let's finish this off. <laughs> I wish they did the full play out of that entire orchestra part. Ah, oh, darn. Oh my goodness gracious. But that is absolutely stunning. They did such a great job with that. And I love how Austin kind of looks over throughout the video at Rob to kind of see like, am I doing it right? Is everything okay? But you know, anyways, also um, Sandra, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but this is a very, very, very hard piece to sing. Thank you so much Dorky for sponsoring that video. That was absolutely epical. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I got to see that. Oh my God. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment down below what you enjoyed and what you'd like to hear next, and subscribe to join my BEA beautiful family. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Maggie Renee Music so that you can join me on all of my adventures as a singer living in New York City, studying at Juilliard, and traveling the world, taking you on stage and backstage with me. If you would like to support this channel, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon where you can get exclusive perks and benefits. You can also hit the cute little blue join button to become a member of the Skittle Squad. Skittle Squad, let me hear you down below. Also, be sure to check out the links down below in my description so that you can see all the ways that you can follow me, connect with me, and support the channel. You can also go to maggierenee.com slash links to find all of the different places that you can visit, such as my Discord. Make sure you join the Discord because I'm a member of the Eyebrow Army, TikTok, Patreon, how to sponsor a reaction, my vocal course called How to Sing Better Instantly, and much, much more. Thank you all so much for watching, and I am sending you all so, 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 so much love, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.